Hello, hello, Jeff Elvin here with the Lori Ballant team and Ballant Brands at your command. And today I wanted to show you a little trick we use sometimes for building a community page on the agent website. So we do get the request from time to time to set up pages uh, for on the agent websites that allow us to maybe feature certain communities. Uh, we do have some limitations there, but I did want to show you instead of what we can't do, I want to show you what we can do. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to go down to the consumer tab, click on that. I'm going to click on my agent site pages. I'm going to click create a new site on my agent site. So if I go ahead and click create page, what that does is it's going to pull up a, a new page for me to build that I'm going to put on the agent website. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and name it. And we're going to call this communities. You know, you can do neighborhoods, areas I serve, anything like that. The idea, of course, is uh, just to feature certain communities, areas, or neighborhoods, whatever's appropriate in your area. So what I'm going to do is I like to use the agent profile widget. And what that does, it just kind of gives me a little format. And in my case, you know, it has me at the top. So I'm going to actually leave that because I want people to see me as I'm you know, featuring these particular areas or these communities. You could also do like a picture of a community or uh, maybe a logo if we want to do that we that's an option as well but we'll we'll get to changing that here in a second so I like to use this particular widget because it has a better layout on the page and it gives me a little flexibility here in this content area to do more of what I'm trying to do so I'm gonna go ahead and click on configure widgets and we have the agent profile so again now I can edit everything that's in there so the first thing here is I have my headshot I'm gonna go ahead and leave that in then we have page title, so I'm gonna put maybe areas I serve as an example. And then role and company is right here, what shows up here, where it says a lead listing agent at Royals Realtors. So here I'm gonna put, um, I could put something like great communities, or we have to watch out, of course, if we, maybe we can't say great, depending on your, your rules and regulations, but um, so I already have areas I serve and you know we could put something else there so now I have a bio title so that's here so in my case I have areas I serve great communities you know I, I've got different information here so maybe I'm gonna put uh, explore more for example and then where we have agent bio so this is basically the big block that's here on the left hand side so this is where we get to do a little bit more, um, but we have to know some tricks. So I'm gonna actually use some HTML in here and uh, show you what we can do. So I'm gonna clean that all out. We don't need that in there. So it says enter agent bio, but instead I'm gonna actually enter some communities. Now, one thing that we have to take note of is what communities we can actually pull up. So in my examples here, we, we have neighborhoods, communities, the, the way we um, have these. So let me give you an example. So if I were to do Las Vegas, Nevada, well, it's gonna come up as a city, Las Vegas, Nevada. And when I click on that city, it's gonna give me basically properties for sale for the city of Las Vegas, Nevada. But if I wanted to do that, because Las Vegas is a city, not a neighborhood, for example, if I wanted to do something like Henderson, which is also in the Las Vegas Valley, and I did Henderson, Nevada, you'll actually see that there is, if I just do Henderson, let me go back a minute there, you'll see there's South Carolina, Alabama. Okay, so here's Henderson, Nevada under cities, but there's also neighborhoods. So if I look at that, I'll actually see a Henderson area neighborhood. So in some cases, now when I go to the neighborhood, It'll also show properties available, but it gives me this option here to explore neighborhoods. Um, there's also a view all neighborhoods. So this gives me an option to see which neighborhoods are available for me to actually explore. And these would be the neighborhoods that are within the Henderson neighborhood in particular. So that's an option for me to do. So that's, that's really one limitation we might have is that your neighborhoods may not show up the way you would expect them to because of how the command system is tying in to that information. So, but in this particular case, I like these neighborhood pages. Uh, sometimes the information isn't 100% accurate, but it's a nice page. It kind of gives a little market snapshot. 
uh, what locals are saying about the area, which is nice, the transit and commute, nearby schools, and then it'll have down here some of the places you can go, uh, some homes that are for sale in that area, and then again, the nearby neighborhoods that I can scroll through as well. So that's one option to do. The other option, uh, like I pointed out before, is if I just simply did something like Las Vegas or North Las Vegas, again, you're gonna see like the city options. And when I go to the city, then it's the whole city area. So this would be more like homes for sale in North Las Vegas. So I put together a little cheat sheet for myself over here that has some of the communities that I can do. Lake Las Vegas, Henderson area, Summerlin South, the ridges, the lakes, um, so these are some that I can do, and then I, I made a copy of each of those, the actual URLs up here. So once I go to a particular neighborhood, if I go back to Henderson, for example, and I go to the neighborhood and click on Explore Neighborhood, well, this URL will take me right to that page. So now I can just go right here to this page if I want to link someone here to see more information. So I've already made a copy of what those URLs are. And then I also did a few for just the homes for sale, just to use that example as well, if maybe the neighborhoods option doesn't work out well for you in your area. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to, go ahead and close that, I don't need those anymore. So I'm gonna go back to my agent site pages. So what I can do is I can simply copy each of these like one at a time and kind of point them out. Now what I like about this is I'm able to use, like I said, HTML code. So I know for example, I can use what, what's called a bold tag. So if I make this bold, then it'll show up on the left hand side as bold instead of just regular text. I can also use what's called a break tag. So this causes a line break so that I can then take the content that's below it and have that show up on my page as well. Okay, so now I have that break tag. Now let's say I want the next one to be two breaks because I want it to double space there. So I can actually add that option. So I'm gonna do Henderson. So again, I'm gonna do a bold tag, Henderson. And then I'm going to do just a single break tag. And then I want this content to be here. So again, you have to know a little bit of HTML um, you know, it's not complicated. It's just a matter of learning something new, really. And um, but at least you have the option to do it. it. Makes a little bit more, you know, little little more detailed than maybe other websites. And of course, we do provide this as a service here at Ballon Brands as well. Um, but just to give you an idea of kind of what we're doing over here to make it look a little more sophisticated. So if I want to just kind of see what this looks like, I can hit save and apply, and you'll see it pop up over here. So now it does look like it's creating an extra space because I used the, the actual space in my, so I have the break tags, but then I also have an actual space in the code. So what's happening is this command is recognizing that space that I used. And so it's giving it a little extra, little extra space right there, which we don't necessarily want. So you can kind of tweak a little bit, play it around or play around with it a little bit and you'll see that we have these areas. Now, another thing I like to do is I want to have a, I want to actually link it now. So there's a couple different ways. Uh, some people like to use links that are like a view more link. So at the very end, it could say like view more or see market statistics or something like that. Or some people like to link the actual title. So both of those would be an option. And what I'm going to show you here is actually how to create a link. So in order to know where to start a link and where to stop a link, just like with the bold tag, we have to want, have one that starts, and then we have to have this one, that, what's called, so this opens it, and this is one that closes it. So what we're doing here is kind of defining which part is bold. So now we can do the same thing for the link. So if I want this header to be a link, we're gonna use what's called an ahref equals, and then we put a little quotes, and then I close it. And then where I want that link to stop, which would be before the bold tag, since I have it starting after the bold tag, I want it to stop before. So then I put that close a tag. And then I'm simply gonna copy and paste my link from here. Uh, which one? Oh, Lake Las Vegas. Let's grab the right one here at least. Okay, and then I'm gonna paste that in there. So this is the link that does it. Now, the other thing I wanna do is 
if I want it to open in a new page, for example, because I want people to come back to this page, I can simply do that just by adding a little piece of code and, and it's called target equals underscore blank. So that means open it in a blank page. The target is a new blank page when they click on that link. So that would open it in a new window. Now the other option is, just to kind of show it to you here, is I'm gonna go ahead and put um, see more about this community here. So I'm gonna, this example, I'm gonna give you the other one. So again, I want the whole link to be an option. So I'll close that. I'll go over here and grab the Henderson link that I used, or that I created. And then where do I want it to stop? I want it to stop after the it could be before or after that period. So now if I hit save and apply, so you see how that works? So I can make it a link here, or I can make it a link here. It's wherever you want to make it a link. You just surround it by that opening a href and then the closing a tag as well. So that's a little example. Uh, of course, from here, you save the changes. You go add it to your navigation on the website. Uh, but this is one way, again, to maybe make a little bit more out of your command site by adding communities, uh, cities, we could actually do like a you know where we aren't just relying on them using the search bar at the top of our page but we're actually giving them you know click here to see homes for sale or homes for sale in las vegas homes for sale in so like what i have here homes for sale in north las vegas homes for sale in henderson right you could do that too where you're just taking them directly to sales pages so that's another easy way to get them dialed in and take them where you want them to go so hopefully this was valuable to you and you can use it in different ways. And if you have any questions, by all means, reach out to us at team at And of course, check out Lori Ballin on understandcommand.com.